What I have in front of me is an Intel Nook. Now, I've done a video on this a little while back about how to install the RAM and an SSD inside the previous version, inside the Nook 10. So here I am back with another video with version 11. This is the Tiger Canyon. So this is a bare bones machine that comes with just the processor and the unit itself. You need to additionally buy the RAM and the hard drive that you wish to fit. Now this inside has an i7 processor, so I'm kitting it out with a one terabyte NVMe drive and 64 gig of RAM. Now the aim of this machine is to run some virtual machines on it, and that's the idea about the high amount of RAM. So what I'm gonna do in this video is just open up the box, show you what comes inside and what's in there, and then we're gonna go ahead and install these two units. I have another video coming a little bit later about how to install a virtual hypervisor on this machine. So if you wanna see that, hit the subscribe button, or comment down below, and I'll let you know when that video is coming out. So let's go ahead and have a look at what comes inside the box. So this is the power adapter for it. Uh, that's the 120 watt power supply. It comes with a European adapter, but we don't want that one. So I've been sent out a UK plug, which is useful. There's a wall mounting plate or some sort of mounting plate that you can use to mount this somewhere. Bunch of instructions and installation guides, which we don't need, some screws. So these are the screws that you may need for mounting this uh, to the plate. And right at the bottom, we have the nook itself. So I think I might have actually open this box the upside down, but hey, no, nonetheless, this is the nook itself. So if I quickly go ahead and open this up. So just to show you the unit itself, it comes with two USBs on the front, the power, it has a lockable unit on the side with some vents. And on the back, we have power, USB-C, HDMI. The 2.5 gigabyte network connectivity is a good thing, um, as we're seeing gigabit slowly being increased to 2.5 gig now, so that's good to have. A couple more USB ports, another USB uh, Type-C port, and another HDMI port. So we have two outputs on here as well. I'm not actually quite sure what this part is for, but hey, uh, if anybody does know, yeah, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, so let's go ahead now and install the RAM and SSD. So we just need to remove uh, these two screws. If anybody knows, this is actually an iPhone removal tool, but you know, it works wonders on these kind of units as well. So let's just try and get that wedge in and take that out. So there we go. Just be careful when you take this out that this little ribbon cable in here doesn't get damaged. So we have the two RAM ports just here and we have the NVMe drive slot just here on this side. So let's go ahead and install the RAM. Links to all these items are down in the description below and they are linked to my Amazon affiliate. So it doesn't cost you a penny more to buy, so do feel free to use them and it helps out the channel as well. Okay, now the uh, drive. So we have the NVMe drive, so we take that out. And as you can see, that is really thin. Um, and that is one terabyte in size. Um, memory has come a long way. So what we need to do is just undo this screw at the top here, take that to one side, put it there. And then the NVMe just goes in just like so. So I'm just gonna pop that up, there we go. And just make sure it goes around the ribbon cable. And then we can go ahead and pop this screw back in. There we go, that is just there, RAM and SSD fully installed. And then you just pop the lid back on like I just did. And then we go ahead and close the screws up. And there we go. It's that easy and simple to install the RAM and SSD inside of an Intel Nook. Remember the links are down in the description below. They are linked to my Amazon affiliate. And if you do use them to buy whatever you want, every little bit does help the channel. I hope you found this video useful. It was a quick tutorial on how to do this. As I mentioned, I am gonna be installing a virtual hypervisor on here. So hit the subscribe button if that's something you wanna see. Let me know down in the comments below. This is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.